welcome to the English with Kirsty podcast from www.englishwithkirsty.com. Here I'll be sharing with you tips, information and other learning resources so that you can improve your business English. Welcome back to the English with Kirsty podcast and this week I want to talk about the workshop that's coming up. I have another interactive workshop coming up and something for you to think about as well. So whether or not you're coming to the workshop, this is something that you can think about because it's probably relevant to you if you are listening to this podcast. And the topic is advanced language learners because I use this term a lot. Um, I call people language learners even though some of us have been learning languages for a long time and we're maybe not even attending a course. I mean, I, I have multiple languages in my life, so some of them are at lower stages than others. But for all of them, I would still consider myself to be a language learner because I think that if we stop learning, then we stop growing and, and that would be a shame. So I, wherever you are on the journey of learning a language, even learning your own language, your first language, I still think we can be learners because that means there's more to discover and, and that's good. So when I talk about the people with whom I'm working, when I say language learners, I don't just mean those first stages where you will maybe go into your first course and putting your first sentences together. I'm also talking about people who use their additional languages every day, maybe at work or maybe because they live in a country where those languages are used, or maybe just like me, you have friends who use those languages and, and you want to use them or to discover books or series or music or, or whatever it is. It, it, we're all still learning. So when I'm talking about advanced language learners, I, I don't mean people doing more complicated courses. I mean people who have already got their language skills to a good level and the level where they can really enjoy them and use them. But there's still more to learn and sometimes there are still challenges. There may be different challenges from those who are just beginning, but yet they're still challenges. And one of the biggest ones is that, um, well, there are a few, which is why in my workshop I'm talking about five, but, but one that I often hear is that people feel stuck, that they can't make progress anymore, like they've They've got to a good level, they can maybe go on holiday and use this language or maybe use the language at work in some capacity, but they feel stuck because they're not moving forward either at all or in one specific area. And this is what I'm looking at in my workshop. So we have five challenges, five the five that tend to come up the most when I'm working with people. Um, so for people who have been are very familiar with the language but they just feel that they're stuck they, they can't move forward so five different challenges sometimes we can have more than one of them um, but we're going to look at these in turn and and talk about some things that you can do to, to move past these challenges or to maybe look at things in a different way so then I started thinking about this and thinking, okay, we could have character studies for the five and we could maybe give them names. But then I thought, well, that would be embarrassing if somebody came to the workshop who had the same name as one of my characters in the character studies. Um, and then I thought, okay, dogs, dogs are great. I love dogs. I can talk about dogs easily. And I tend to attract people to work with me who like dogs. Not, not all of them. I have some people who, who don't, who, who regularly work with me, but you know, a lot of people like animals so I thought this would be a good way to do it and a slightly more fun way to do it because we're talking about problems and solutions and that can be a bit dry and a bit um a bit of a hard topic sometimes so I wanted something that would be a bit more fun so I decided to have the five dogs in my workshop um talking about characteristics that can be common to these dogs or problems that they have when they don't get what they want or what they need and linking that to the problems that we can have as language learners. So in the workshop, there's the retriever who's a perfectionist, wants to get everything right and gets a bit stressed when they don't get everything right. And then we've got a spaniel who is just interested in everything and, and doesn't finish everything because they're, they're always running from one thing to the next. And there are more, um, but I'm not going to tell you the problems that, that the Labrador and who else have we got, the Collie and the German Shepherd have because you'll have to find out if you want to find out what they are, you'll have to come to the workshop. But the idea is that we're using these dogs to 
look at some serious problems that or challenges that we have when we're learning languages and what we can do to fix them. So that's the plan for the workshop. Um, I'll put all the details for the workshop on the um, page for this podcast so you can click through and find out more about it. Um, this is a paid workshop. It's one hour long. It's on Zoom. So I'll put all the details there. If you have any questions, you can send me a message, podcast at englishwithkirsty.com, or you can use the form on the workshops page to send me a message if you want to know more. And if you would like to come to the workshop, I'm really looking forward to seeing you there because I enjoy seeing people move forward when they feel stuck. I also enjoy moving forward. So these are some things that I've done and that um, strategies that I've used as well and things that I've seen that have worked for my clients too. So I always think it's good when we can feel like we've made a breakthrough and, and taken a step forward. And if you if, if the workshop isn't for you, if you don't want to come to the workshop, I just would encourage you to think, even if you're at a good level with whichever language you're learning, is there something that's stopping you? Are you stuck? Are you doing the same things? Is there something that you would like to do that you haven't done yet and haven't found time for? And is there something you could do in the next few months to help yourself to improve your language skills? So for anyone who wants to come to the workshop, I'm looking forward to seeing. And for anyone else, have a think about this. Maybe you'll come up with an idea of something that's been bothering you and something that you can do to fix that. So have a good week and have fun learning English. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the English with Kirsty podcast. If you have any questions or comments, my email address is kirsty at englishwithkirsty.com or you can go to www.englishwithkirsty.com slash podcast where you'll find information about the individual episodes.